Okay, this video is about rational functions, and we're talking about holes in the graph. What that means is that when you have a rational function, sometimes there's like an absolutely hope open space in the curve, and we call that a hole. All right, so it could look something like this. And what it really does is help us know how to graph this because it gives them an idea of where the curve is because we know where it skips over. Okay, it'll make more sense as we go along, but that's the general idea. So how do you find them? First, factor the top and the bottom completely. Second, any common factors that you find represent a hole. Like if it's x minus 2 over x minus 2, there is a hole right there where x is 2. So you would cancel the common factors, step three, and then part four, you've got to find the xy coordinate of that hole so you can graph it correctly. You take, you solve the common factor for x, then you cancel out what the common factors were and simplify the equation. Plug that x value into the remaining equation to find y. Let's try some of this. All right. So we need to factor this first. That is obviously the first thing we need to do. So I'm going to factor up here. And I get x plus 2 over x minus 1 on the top. And I factor the bottom. I'm going to get x minus 3 over x plus 2. All right, so I notice there is a common factor, that x plus 2. When I reduce the equation, what's left is the x minus 1 over x minus 3. Okay, now to find the xy coordinate, I need to take that common factor, set it equal to 0, and solve it. Well, that's just x is negative 2. To find the y coordinate, I need to plug that negative 2 into the remaining part of the equation, which is this part right here, x minus 1, x minus 3. So I'm going to do that. I do negative 2 minus 1 over negative 2 minus 3, and I get negative 3 over negative 5, which two negatives make this positive. So my coordinate then is negative 2 and 3 fifths. Okay, so that's the coordinate for the whole. All right, now, so that's the work for the whole we did. To do roots, remember roots are x-intercepts. So to find my roots, I'm just going to take the top of the equation, the reduced equation, by the way, and set it equal to 0. So all I have to do is x minus 1 equals 0 and solve it, so x is 1. So I have one root where x is 1. Remember to write that as a coordinate. Vertical asymptotes. I take the denominator, the factors in the denominator, and set them equal to zero. Well, there's only one factor in the denominator, x minus three, set it equal to zero, and I get x is three, so one. Vertical asymptote. Horizontal asymptote. For horizontal asymptotes, that's Fabio, Botno, Eats, DC. Go back to the reduced equation, okay, x over, x minus one over x minus three, and look at the exponents. Highest exponent is x to the first on top, x to the first on the bottom. So that's an eats dc. So exponents are the same. I divide the coefficients. That's just 1 over 1, so y equals 1. And then the y-intercept. Okay, remember the y-intercept, I take the reduced equation, I put in zeros everywhere there's an x. So 0 minus 1 over 0 minus 3. That gives me negative 1 over negative 3 which is positive one-third. So my x-intercept is a zero, one-third. Okay, so I start to graph this stuff. Um, asymptotes first, I have a vertical asymptote where x is three, one, two, three. I'm gonna dot that in. Horizontal asymptote where y is one. All right, I have a hole at negative two and three-fifths, well that's if this asymptote is a y is 1, then it's just below that. I have a root at 1, 0, and I have a y-intercept at one, 0 and 1 third, so that's just above the axis. All right, so looking at your points, you can see that there's a curve connecting all of this. All right, so now we need to decide what's going on on the right-hand side here. So we need to test it. So if this is x is 1, 2, and 3, we need to test where x is 4. So where x is 4, I'm going to plug it into my reduced equation. And I have 4 minus 1 over 4 minus 3 gives me 
3 over 1. So y is 3. So at 4, y is 3, so it's up here, meaning the curve is going to do this. Hug the asymptotes above the horizontal. All right, lots of work, lots of steps. Let's try another one. All right, first we're going to factor. So if I factor the top, I get x plus 3 times x plus 1. On the bottom, factor just an x out, and I get x times x plus 3. So we notice the common factors of x plus 3. That means that there is a hole where x plus 3 equals 0. We're not in that. So we reduce those out and reduce the equation. We end up with just x plus 1 over x. Okay, so that's the main equation we want to work with from here on out. But first, let's finish our hole. x equals negative 3. Now, if x is negative 3, what is y? We'll plug it into the equation. Negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 gives me negative 2 over negative 3, which is 2 thirds. So my coordinate then is negative 3 and a positive 2 thirds. Okay, let's do roots. Remember, roots is just the numerator set equal to 0. So x plus 1 equals 0. That means x is negative 1, and it's an ordered pair, a negative 1, 0. Vertical asymptote, that's the denominator set equal to 0. Well, that's just x equals 0, and that's solved already. Horizontal asymptote, all right, let's look. Fabio, Botno, or eats DC. x is the first power on top, x is the first power on the bottom, so the exponents are the same. That's an eats DC. So I divide the coefficients. 1 divided by 1 is 1. And lastly, the y-intercept. Okay. Y-intercept, I take the reduced equation. I put in 0 everywhere there's an x. So 0 plus 1 over 0. Well, 1 over 0 is undefined, which means that there is none. There is not a y-intercept at all. Okay. It's not going to cross it. Now let's graph these parts. Negative 1, 0 is a root. x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote right along the y-axis. And then y equals 1 is the horizontal. Okay. I have a hole at negative 3 and 2 thirds. Well, 2 thirds is less than 1, so it's going to be under the asymptote, but there indeed is a hole. All right, no y-intercept at all. So, all I know is that this curve comes down like this. Hug the asymptotes there. Now, on the right side, again, I need to pick a point. Let's just pick x as 1 and plug it into my equation. If x is 1, I get 1 plus 1 over 1, which is a 2, which is positive. If this is y is 1, this is y is 2, then my curve is up here. All right. Let's try another one. This one's already factored, so it's going to be a little quicker. But yes, there is a hole. So there is a hole, and I need to solve it. So x plus 2 equals 0 when x is negative 2. So I know the negative 2 part. This is what's left of my equation, so I focus on this. Now to find y, I'm going to plug in the negative 2 plus 4 over negative 2 minus 3. That gives me a positive 2 over negative 5 or negative two-fifths. So that's my y-coordinate. Okay, so now I take out the x plus two part and we look at what's left. Roots, okay, y, x intercepts. So take what's left on top, set it equal to zero, solve it, I get negative four. Okay, vertical asymptotes, take what's left on the bottom, set it equal to zero, solve it. Horizontal, Fabio Botno or eats DC? Well, x is the first power, x is the first power, so this is another eats DC. And dividing co coefficients, I just get y equals 1. And then, here, let's get up here, y-intercept, I take what's left of the equation and put in zeros for x. So 0 plus 4 over 0 plus, or minus 3, sorry, gives me 4 over negative 3, so negative 4 thirds. Remember, that's negative 1 and 1 third if you reduce that, okay? So let's do this, all right? Asymptote at x equals negative 3. 
horizontal at y equals 1. Root at negative 4, 0. Y-intercept at 0, negative. Okay, so I know these two parts, and then my hole is at negative 2 and negative 2 fifths, so it's just below the y-axis. So it's curving here, curving here. So for the right side, again, I need to test the point. So this is x is 4. So where y is x is 4, I have 4 plus 4 over 4 minus 3. Well, that's a positive 8 over 1, so it's an 8, so it's way up here. So my curve is up here. Okay, I want you to try this one on your own. Find the hole, find the roots, vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, and y-intercepts. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.